look, uh. The energies of the world are the root of evil. The money's only an object. I got a lot of new shit in process. White supremacy has always had our mind in a bondage. Our greatest leaders get treated like Jesus. Always dying on the crosses. So I'm busy getting to it. Steady breaking through the matrix. Too many of my brothers really grew up in the cages. I'm here to speak knowledge. So it's quiet when I say shit. Even though we came from the bottom. Life's amazing. You can hear the cadence of development as an artist. I'm turning pages. Getting better by the blink. So it's fuck what you think. Always sticking to the regiment. My life is a testament. I can name millions of niggas that I'm better than. Really a rap specialist is president. Maybe I'll run for president one day and it's evident. Never moving with arrogance. So Always keeping it elegant If you ain't bringing funeral up, it's irrelevant I get the job done smooth with proper etiquette There's levels to this shit I'm banging out my prerequisites We don't even talk no more So why you still Hey yo, you know who it is uh-huh. It's your boy back Third time, yes, sir. you know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm with a heavy hitter tonight, you know what I'm yes, saying? Sir, like, man. one of my favorites out this city, you know what I'm saying? I just tapped in, but dog, yo. when I tell y'all I mean, shoot Yo, you know, what's your name, though, bro? Man, yo. y'all let the people know who you is, bro. Yo, it's Shocker, man. Hell you know, yeah. Roxbury's on. Uh huh. I'm here with my man Noble, yes, live sir, at the man. Museum TV. Create the Museum TV, man. You know the vibes with us, man. We exhibit on these culture stories, bro. This is a new one right here. You know, yeah. us be us both being in it. So this is gonna be dope. You feel me? Um, make sure y'all definitely hollering at us if you need the embroidery work. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm doing all the embroidery work for all, all of our merch right now. So if you need your own. Definitely hit us up in the email for sure, man. We'll definitely take care of you, man. Yeah, man. But nah, man. Yo, bro, man. You know, Boston's Premier Vlog, man. New host, man. Dog, I appreciate you, man. Yo, for man. real, bro. Yo, I appreciate you, big dog. Like, nah, yo, nah, the embroidery. Shit, 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 y'all got to definitely tap in, man. And you got to shop Museum TV, man. 100%, man. 100%. Man. And like I was telling y'all, man. I'm so excited, yo. For real. Like, nah, having nah. me and you just sitting down together. Nah, it's just Able to fucking just get the... City in tune, hundred percent, with the new and you know what I'm saying the yeah. hot. I'm saying like it's litty like for real, for real. No, no, for real, for real. Cause like yo, that's one of the big things though. Is like like us betting on the talent that you know what I'm saying we have come up here. You know what I'm saying exactly. Like, you know, we might as well you know use yeah. that to to, to introduce yeah, bro. Yo, man, I got my dog, man. It's funeral aunt Bell, man. I'm saying, yo, man. Shout I, out to I, y'all. I, how you doing, bro? How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Shout out to y'all. I appreciate y'all having me here. First mm-hmm. and foremost, bro, it's an honor. I've been watching this show for a while. Shout out to you, Noble. You know what I mean for doing your thing with museum and shit like that. I bless up, um, bro. So it's just an honor to be up here, man. I know what this means for the city and what this platform means for the city. So it's a it's a blessing to be here for sure. Nah, nah yo, respect, that's what it's all respect, about, bro, bro. Is is giving out the flowers, bro. Like nah, I'm fact. saying, when we see the talent up here. It's like we get excited, bro. Like, cause like our city is like I'm saying lit. It's it is the northeast. I'm saying That's our state is the northeast. Like people gotta recognize like this is where it's at right here. I'm saying That's so yeah. every time we see somebody who I'm saying got that heat, you know where they go. You know first stop gotta be Museum TV, man. That's love. That's love. That's love, man. Means a lot. Means nah, a my lot. dog, man. But yo, bro, like I feel like you really like. You know, in terms of, like, your knowledge, like, you know, um, just to get into things, like, your knowledge of, like, you know, like, Boston hip-hop and, like, the history of this shit, bro, is, is, I feel like, more extensive than most artists that I've met here, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's dope, and I feel like that definitely aids you in in a lot of ways. Um, But, like, how, like, dialed, how, like, how dialed in, like, would you say, like, you know, into the Boston hip hop scene, have have you been like, and like how long? You know what I mean. Like how long have you been like dialed in? I love Boston, man. I've been tapped in to the music scene specifically in Boston for a while. I've been aware of the history here for mm-hmm. a long time, in terms of the RSO days, and you know what I mean Jeff two times. And yep. shout out my man mm-hmm. Jeff. Shout out my man Jeff. Yeah, Hell yeah. Like, like Boston people don't really know. Like we were the first ones really wearing like jerseys and shit like that. Like Word. back in that back in those days and stuff like that. So. Yeah, man. We really a staple, so I've been tapped into RSO and Guru with Gangstar and DJ Premier and stuff like that. Like, mm. I feel mm. like that's really my that's where I get my essence of hip hop of hip hop from. Mm. I feel like, like you got like a crazy sense of pride, bro. You know what I'm saying about like the city. You know what I'm saying nah, even you yeah. pulling up here today with the red socks yeah, on. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Got you, man. Got on some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Even the like, videos in the videos, man. Everything's like very like super Boston. Yeah, super like, Boston. Super Boston. And bro. I said, I said, like you know, I said, Roxbury be cheating in their videos, man. Yeah. The, the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the, the, like the like the. 
the bricks, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like a cheat code for the <laughs> videos, man. That's like, you know, we rocks very kids, so you know, yeah, I, yeah. I ain't hating. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> like, nah, man. Y'all it's got the cheat code right there with that. It's no. important. I feel like it's important for us to shed light on what the city is, man, because we we got a lot of history here that people don't know about, yeah. and um. I feel like it's important for the no, the world to know about it. You right, know what I mean? Right, Whether they catch on now or later, mm. I feel like they they'll eventually know what's up with with the city here. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, nah, nah. Do you feel like um, you know, like knowing like the history and stuff like that, like kind of helps with your sense of pride? You know, like really like you know going hard like for the city, like yeah, cause I've, um, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, for sure. Because it, it lets you understand, like, what you really representing. Like, you know you're not coming from, like, that That essence of pride isn't from, it doesn't stem from some bullshit. Yeah. It stems from something that's real and that had impact right. mm. and shit like that. You mm. know what I mean? So it kind of fuels my fire even more to yeah. know what the what that foundation was. Like, we're just babies of what people what? like Guru and Gangstar and Arvis so did yeah. in my nah, eyes. Nah, Talk that's, your that's shit. fire, so, bro. That's fire right there. Because you know? yeah. it's like, it's, it's kind of like there's two sides to yeah. what... You know, like what we know, there's two sides to our state, you know, but the outside only really knows that other side. So it's very important when you're an artist from our city to, you know, push what you pushing right now mm -hmm. that, you know, this is, we come from something, you yeah, know, this is important. Like, you know, the messages where we, where we live now and where we used to live in the city is all important to, you know what I mean? The world. Like, and you know, I feel like that's what you pushing, bro. Nah, I appreciate good, that, bro. bro. Appreciate that. So I mean, golden ticket, bro. Like, hey. you know, what was the concept behind like like the whole project? Like, I remember seeing like a like a Willy Wonka like promo. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like you know, like kind kind of like walk us through like the concept of putting this together. Um, so golden ticket was um, it was an idea that just came about. I can't really pinpoint exactly when, but the concept behind it was it stemmed from Willy Wonka being like one of my favorite movies going up as a kid. Mm -hmm. Like I remember watching that movie several times with Mom Dukes in the Classic. spot. You know what I mean? And um I don't know, just something about that movie just stuck with me to this day. Mm -hmm. Like the journey of Charlie and what he meant in that in that movie. Like in my eyes, like Willy Wonka specifically in the movie. Like the old the original version, not the new one. I'm right, talking about right. like the original one. Um when he pretty much made the kids in the movie face their fears. And Charlie was the only one that got to the end of the movie because of what he stood for. Mm. He only got to be in the factory with them to try to win the the, the contest and shit because not for real. He only he only went to the factory because he bought a he bought a chocolate bar and he bought the leader store. He thought about his grandfather, doubled back, bought another one, and that was the one that had the ticket in it. Mm. So it's about what he did yeah. in that moment that led him to be able to win at the, the end, you know what I mean? So, in my eyes, I'm Charlie with what I stand for and what I do and mm -hmm. how I operate out here. So, I decided to put my make myself Charlie on the cover. Shout out to my brother G, because he helped me come up with that idea. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much the concept behind it. Damn. And rap ended up being my golden ticket. That's young Charlie with your golden ticket. Yeah. That's yeah. hard. And there's white tape over my eyes, because I couldn't see what my golden ticket was at that time. That's deep. Damn. That's yeah, deep. This nigga just fucked me up the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's fire. Nah. Yeah. And nah, I, nah. You, you had told me off camera too that um, you had used a picture to actually for the design of what I'm saying you're wearing on the cover from back in the day. And that like blew my mind. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just the detail to the, you know what I mean? The actual album and, you know, Facts. it's like impeccable, bro. Like, that's Facts. different. That's different. Not, not everyone in the world has, you know, a mind like, like that. Like that, on some real shit. That's, um, that's, that's big love right there. I mean, so, bro, like, we've been talking about how you give, like, messages in your music, and, like, it's very specific, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, what you want to be able to tell people. It's a very universal um, message, but it's something that, you know, is, is needed, you know what I'm saying? Um, I kind of, I sort of look at you as, like, you know, like, if, if I was to give you, like, a vibe to somebody like it'd be like like sort of like a hood prophet you know what i'm saying like a nigga kind of like just you know um giving his mind you know what i'm saying That's to right you know there. elevate you know I what agree. i'm saying yeah. like so um 
you know, but you know sometimes that's that's tough for that for that for that, you know, form of art to penetrate, you know what I'm saying, nowadays. So like as an artist, like how do you like measure your like growth? You know what I'm saying? Like That's a great question. I appreciate like that that analogy. That's um those are big words coming from you, bro. Um but I'm sorry. What was the what you what you say? Nah, <laughs> my dog. Um, nah. The question was, um, how do you like personally measure? How do you personally measure like your growth as an artist? Yeah. I pers Oh, um, I don't necessarily. I just know that there's always a level to reach like that I haven't gotten to yet. So I don't necessarily measure my growth in a way like I'm. Um, it's like all right, I did this this time. I of course I learned from my mistakes and stuff like that. Right. But I measure my growth out of I know there's just so much more that I can. There's just so many levels I haven't tapped into yet right. mentally, so I think I measure. Yeah, yeah, I measure my growth off when I learn new things and I'm able to apply that to my music. I think that's the way I measure my growth is like me learning new shit that I could say or apply to a song or apply to a verse or apply to a beat. It may be a, a, a song I heard from the '60s that I feel like we can do something with, or like I feel like that's how I measure my growth per right. se. Right. Okay, I talk that. Okay. You know I mean, I'm with that. Yeah. I'm with that. I'm with that. For a lot of artists, I feel like they in a race. So to hear you say that, you know, it's different. You know what I mean? Like just to sit back and let it come to you. You know, like that's one thing. You I, one thing I learned too is like you can't force. You can't force it. Like your art, you really got to treat it like a child. Like Real shit. You got to nurture that shit. You can't shit, when it's not working how you want it. You can't yell at it or scream at it. Like you gotta. <laughs> Talk That's to deep, that yo. shit. Talk your shit. You know what I mean? Talk like, really, shit, gr yeah. nigga, yeah. No. Say, really I grow with y'all up. Get out here, man. I know about that life. Come on, yo. You know what I mean? So it's like. Know, he's, he's telling the truth right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got to care. You know. Talk come on, that shit. I don't force any of this shit, bro. I let it come to me. I just let God do the work, man. I'm yeah. just here to do my part, bro. But, mm. yeah, man. That's it. Nah, I love that, man. I love that. What's what's your, like, most, like, stream songs right now? Like, if somebody, you know, um, just getting hit to funeral and bro, like, I would say my first song, honestly, the first song I ever put out was titled Ambition. Okay. Um, and that's the first joint I feel like. Has How about been, off the, um, the newest project? Off the newest project, I would it say. That'd be Crabs in a Bucket. Crabs in a Bucket. <laughs> crabs in a Bucket. <laughs> that's my joint. That's my joint. That's his shit. Man. Crabs in a Bucket's up <laughs> there for probably sure. Got it up there. Yeah, you know, I'll be running that joint up. You know what I'm saying? Don't hate. Don't hate. <laughs> my baby. My baby. Now, what is it though? My Come, um, Now y'all good, man. Coming to Fruition is another one. Mm. Coming to Fruition, okay. Yeah, the intro. Um, and I would say the outro too. Honestly, they've all, it's pretty much a lot of even killed streams, but Crabs in the Bucket um, and the intro stood out the most so okay, far. Look, yeah. look, um, definitely my favorite shit is, is, is uh, <clears throat> Pope, Pope at the Vatican. Am I, am I saying that right? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Pope at the Vatican, bro, like that. <laughs> Bro, the production on that shit is so hard to me, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, so fire, bro. Like, shout out to my brother. Sounds by faith, man. Nah, yeah, that's bro. My like, and that's my engineer, you know, my producer. That's my brother right there. As I was listening to like, you know, the project and like your beat selection, like, what I like is there's always like a different element to the beat, but it still stays like in pocket, in lane with you know your style Sound, of like yeah, rapping. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I agree. So yeah, even with yeah. that song, like, you know that. That kind of like Hawaii Aloha kind of like you know um sound that's like I don't, yo bro I, like for lack of better term that, that was that was like some trash <laughs> words to, to pick right? <laughs> I feel what you're but saying but like you know like it was like some Lilo and Stitch shit on dogs yeah, like but like you know yeah, yeah. just just like adding that vibe you know like to like like just adding that different vibe to each beat bro but still keeping it you know in lane bro is is, is to me I, I think is very fire like about how you put the project together too. With bro, like I, th I thought that was very hard. Yeah. Um, how do you go about like you know usually choosing like like beats? Like what what elements to a beat kind of like you know draw you to like yo like this is the canvas I'm about to paint on? You know what I'm saying? That's a great question. Um, I think it just comes from being in the studio and just creating. Like we don't necessarily look for. We may have a concept or an idea from like a song we may have heard or just mm -hmm. something that came from the air, mm -hmm. and we literally just cook some shit up it's half the time that's another thing too like it's really just me and, and me and bro in the stool half the time making music like there's not really too many distractions i feel like that's why the music's starting to sound the way it's sounding it's you know what i mean mm -hmm. and um that's a lot of new artists biggest mistake is a crowded studio yeah word, word, so we don't word, really word, like shit. powerful thinkers need space yeah mm -hmm. nah, real so, shit, real i can't shit. yeah but i can't really explain it honestly bro i think it's really just a feeling i get yeah, you know what i mean like in the moment it's like yo we got something right here but there is like I feel like there's like a a, a general like 
feel to to each beat yeah. that you know I felt in each in each of them. But at the same time, you added an ele- like there was an element that was different with the beat that like made everything sound like separate. Like I hope I'm making sense right now. No, bro. you are, bro. My bro, sounds by face. Shout out to my bro, man. He's like we're big on that, and like he that's something he 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 pretty much handles the production. But we're definitely right. when it yeah. comes to like what's sounding like why like how you, it sounds the way it does. I'm heavily involved in that process too. I feel like you definitely used your voice as an instrument too on the on the tape. Like you know like. Y'all, yeah. you know, like, yeah. like you said, y'all yeah. two sitting down together, kind of yeah. incorporated you to be able to use your voice as an instrument too. So y'all knew when to fit, where to fill in those gaps, you Absolutely. know, like, and that that was powerful too on that, you know, on the tape. Bottle. Yo, what does um funeral stand for, bro? Um, it's an acronym that stands for focus, understanding, neighborhood equality, respect, authenticity, and loyalty. Mm. Um, it's something I live by. It's something I put into my music. And um, yeah, man, that's what it's about for sure. I just finished trademarking that too, so I'm talking um, shit. That was very important. Shit. Yeah, 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 that was yeah. very important for me to do. Nigga got the T. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga got the T. Nah, the, the nah, TM, my bad. The TM, TM man. Nah, that's powerful. All you artists out there better be listening, man. That's powerful right there. Nah, like ownership, shit. ownership. Yeah, Take your shit serious, man. Nah, um, real. So, even like with your stream songs, bro, did you did you expect those songs to be like your most stream songs, bro? To be honest, as an artist, you get a feel for certain particular songs that may do more better, like better than others, or they may do more numbers or whatever the the, the case may be. But um, not really, man, because I just put my all in. I know when I put something together, I'm it's for a reason. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And um, I don't think I necessarily. Maybe yeah, like the so, intro, I knew that shit was gonna go crazy. No lie, go <laughs> golden ticket, like. Crabs in a like bucket. The whole, I feel like the, like, it's the whole, hard the to say for hard. Golden Ticket. I funny shit, the whole project yeah. is hard. It's hard to say because yeah. the whole tape is a vibe. It's hard for you to hard, say that shit. which one's going to do better than project. the other one because yeah, you really was spitting on every single track. Bro. Like, you know what I mean? Appreciate that, every, like, and like I was, I told Noble this earlier, you got to put the, you got to put the lyrics up there for me, dog. Like you know what I'm saying? Like on word. Apple Music, I need the lyrics out. Word, word. He, 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 yo, like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta figure that out. Like, we gotta yeah, figure yeah, that out. Bro, bro. I ain't gonna lie, like that, like yo, that's like a great point, my nigga. Because you know like you I know, to, especially with your correctly. message, bro. No funny shit. Correctly. Like you saying some shit. No, that's you you real. talking powerful, so I'm saying the shit you saying is real. I need to quote it correctly, so I need to hear the. You know what I'm saying, see those words and be like, how you put it. That's real shit. Write it, retweet it, put it on my picture. It'll be like when when you read a book, bro, and you know. You 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 going through that paragraph and then that one sentence hits you like a motherfucker. That's like somebody reading your lyrics, bro. And, and then like that one line, dog, is like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's hard. Right, you know that's hard. Saying? That's <laughs> hard. That's a great idea. So you know what I mean? Nah, that's yo, I, I figure that out. Just just a light suggestion from yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, bros. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. real for real, bro. For sure. For sure. Um, cause I think that'll be another added way to definitely help your shit penetrate, bro. Like yeah. for real, my nigga. You, you know got quotables, bro. That's hard. Very few rappers you could quote nowadays. No, nah, that's a fact. They make music and it's here today, gone tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So, um, talk about it, you know? No lotto. Like, we that. was talking about the streaming shit, bro. And, like, I wanted to, like, ask, like, do you think an artist can ever really, like, measure or pinpoint? I bet I just made this song and I know it's about to be like my most streamed shit. Or do you just gotta roll the dice, basically? Like, do you think there's a way to kind of measure that shit or is it really just rolling the dice? I feel like when you get to a certain level, there's a way to say, yo, this is the one that's going to go. Okay. okay but okay. like, as you're growing, like for me per se, I, I don't think I'm at that level yet. Mm-hmm. Well, I could say, yo, this song's going to be fire. All I know is I'm putting my all into whatever I'm doing and mm-hmm. the outcome isn't up to me. It's up to God. You know respect. I mean? Respect. Right. So I don't think I'm at that point yet to say I can pinpoint, yeah, this is the one. But like, we'll we'll be there eventually. Yeah, nah, nah. But like, right now, I'm just really just putting my all into what I do, man. And you can hear just letting it. You God can hear the rest. it, bro. You could definitely hear it in the music. Like, it's really you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Respect. like yeah. there's no gimmicks in it. Like, you know what I mean? For me and you tonight, exactly, it's the same person I'm hearing rapping. You know? Nah, real, 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 real. So that's what made it even better. Like, now nah, you go bump that shit harder. Like, all right, where? Real, real nigga real shit. Mass shit right here. That's you know what I'm saying? That's love. Nah, real nigga shit. That's love. That's um, love. So damn, bro. Um, talking about like the scene right now, cause you know we was talking about how you know you, mm. you have a real good grasp on like the Boston hip hop scene. Shout like, out to the city, man. Um, sure. what's something you feel like we're doing good at, but you know we can do better? At? 
Mm, one thing I think one thing we're doing good is that people are really taking this shit serious now in my eyes. Okay. Mm, like okay. people are really putting their all into what they're creating in my eyes and they're taking their time and they're really understanding like what's at stake here. I agree. Um I think that's Word. one thing I would say is better. Like mm -hmm. a lot of more quality and stuff like that mm -hmm. in terms of the artistry, in terms of the like how things are being the promoted. Belief. No, the belief. The, the, belief. the belief. The belief's right different. There. The yeah. belief is different. Everyone, yeah. has, everyone before used to champion who they sort of thought might make it, yeah. but no, everyone wouldn't get behind them. But now, if you get enough people going, the whole town gonna know about you. That's a fact. You know? That's a fact. So I would say that's the one thing I think has gotten better. Is, um, but can get better. Yeah, one thing that can get better is um, I just think more collaboration mm, within okay. the city itself. Like, there's been a lot of collabs and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, but like, the more we unify as people and really come together with all shit, mm -hmm. like we gotta fuck we with gonna, us. Yeah, like, we gotta yeah, fuck yeah, with yeah, each other type with shit. Us, like, like, like the more we start fucking with each other more. I the think it's gonna was a good, 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 good like yeah. Nah, for real. You, you, you performed. So yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. All right, yo, yo, thank you good, for bringing that, that up, bro. That was a good bro. night. That, that exactly what you're talking about is the energy <laughs> in the room. If you wasn't there, but you, you probably heard about it online. But if you didn't, the energy in the room was so powerful because everybody Nutty. in there got each other's socials, got each other's Nutty, math, bro. Nutty, bro. ready to do bigger things. There's a lot of love in that room, man. Yeah. Yo, so I mean, how, how was it performing at the testing lab? You know what I'm saying? Like, give, give you know what I'm saying? Give the niggas a review, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was a great, that shit was great, man. The energy in the room is unmatched, bro. Like, I went to the mm. first event and I didn't perform. I was able to just catch a vibe there and yo, the first event was, was, was amazing. Um, the second one is the one I performed at, which happened to be the anniversary for museum and shit like Respect, that, which yeah. is amazing. My so dog, eight years, man. Dog, eight years. Shout out to you for that. Eight, eight years heavy. Eight years. That's man, crazy. For sure. Yo. Eight yo, years heavy. That's crazy. Yo. So um, it was it was great, bro. The the night was amazing. The energy in the room was 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 fire. Um, nah, the energy bro, I had performing man. was amazing, bro. Like, nah, it was just a great night, bro. Dog, the for environment, sure. yo, bro. Like, niggas don't understand the environment that we really trying to bring with the testing lab bro like yeah. it's really a situation where it's a win-win for everybody bro like literally the crowd the panelists and you know what i'm saying the artists bro like yeah, like right. literally like you know what i'm saying like everybody in that room you know has a tool that you know you could potentially use you know what i'm saying like you know like yeah. bro you're like, entrepreneur you're only as big as your network for sure, so bro. For sure. you need to be in rooms where you can with like-minded people where mm -hmm. y'all can exchange information and exchange talents you and, know and, and and even if you ain't doing anything with that person tomorrow the next yeah. week after that the next month after that the next year after that it's like yo like you still know somebody that you know can potentially solve a problem, problem. that you have you know what i'm saying Agreed. but obviously yeah. you know at the same time, nothing is actually guaranteed, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Your shit got to be lit, nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Your shit got to be lit. You know, you know what I'm saying? The, the testing lab showed that, you know, it's it's honest yeah. at its best. It's yeah. honest. So, Facts. you know, like that's all you can ask. We definitely had to open up on, on, on a couple of artists, you know what I'm saying, the last one. So, you know, it it it, it just... It just shows that we're trying to be genuine about this shit, cause I f I feel like we need like you know you was talking about how you know people are taking taking things serious. serious like there there has to be like a like a standard a standard yeah. I, I was about to say status quo but that's not no, the word you know what I'm saying like yeah. it's like a standard like 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 to understand like yo what's gonna be what's gonna fly and what's not gonna fly yeah. bro like you know what I'm saying and, and you know we gotta we gotta be the ones to protect the culture end you know, of the day like and, and to, we're in it and fact, we don't know shit. we don't know everything <laughs> literally all shit, bro. we yeah. don't know everything but i will say that we're educated consumers yeah, right. you know what i'm saying at the very least because we sure. love this shit. you know yeah. what i'm saying nah, we got my sure. man aunt bell up here you feel me my dog but um you know moving on from the testing lab you know what i'm saying i i, I love the testing lab and like yeah, and like what it's gonna shout represent out to the testing lab, for but sure. um bro so dead dogs Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's My do nigga. it. We got, we, got, we got a good segment, man. Okay, Probably okay, one of the okay. best segments that's been around in the city lately. You know uh -huh, what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So y'all got to get in tune with our own I, dead dog. Yeah, man. I put that shit on okay, dead okay. dog. What this is about is <laughs> you got to put something that no one knows about Aunt Belle. Mm. No one. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It could be Maybe your mama could know. Or a couple <laughs> people could know. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And you got to put what, it on dead dog. Or, or something that somebody like wouldn't. I guess like expect out of you. You, you know what I'm know saying? Like, about you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, okay. but you definitely gotta put it on that dog, though, bro. So niggas know it's real. Um, 
damn, I could say, I mean, shit, uh, I speak Spanish fluently. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. Like, I could write it. I could. I could read it. I could write it. I could speak it fluently. Like I understand it. Like you, nah, you gotta nah. say some shit so so <laughs> niggas believe you though, nigga. I don't um, know, nigga. Yo, uh, yo puedo hablar el español muy bueno. Um, <laughs> nah, that was okay. Nah, yeah, I, I, I can't even do that. Nah, nah, this nigga's like, I can't even do that, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's fire. He's gonna be the type of nigga, dog. Niggas gonna be talking shit around him, bro. And they don't even know this nigga can <laughs> right, understand, right, right. nigga. Bro, I could put this on Dead Dogs, too. This is a story. And yo, Go me ahead, and my mother be laughing too. about this shit. It's crazy you just mentioned <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, nigga. Bro, there's a kid in, um, in elementary school who's kind of talking shit about me in Spanish, bro. Mm -hmm. They were like split classes. I went to the I went to the JJ Hurley. It's in the South End. Um, um, yeah, it's like second, third grade, bro. That we had recess, some kid pretty much said something to me in Spanish, like said something about me in Spanish, and he ain't know I understood him. And I like, I rushed right back, like I said, I was talking my shit right back to him, yeah. and like he kind of felt like kind of stupid, you know what I mean? Right. So it's kind of that was a kind of cool moment for me, nigga. Like on yeah. dead dogs, nigga. nah, yeah, that's nigga, that's that's, that's, that's I, always dead dog. I, I always wish I knew Spanish. I ain't even going front, bro. Like, <laughs> no, that's yo, a powerful right. tool, right? Shout out to my yeah. mom. She always spoke to me in both growing up. Like she made sure I understood Spanish. Like, okay, yeah. and a lot of my friends are uh, Hispanic too. Like my yeah. closest friends nah, are like literally Dominican you know, or yeah. Rican. You know, Roxbury so. heavy, you know. Yeah, I put that shit on dead dogs. for sure. Nah, but man, um, but bro, like. So what, what's what you got coming up next, bro? Like, I got a lot of new music in the cut. Um, definitely always working. As you should. Um, I just got finished getting my name trademark, so that was definitely an important step for me in my career. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, man, just expect a lot more, a lot of growth. Um, I don't have any specific dates or anything like that in terms of when something may be dropping. Yeah. Right. But um, I'm definitely in the lab a lot. Got a lot of shit working up and um, cooking up for 2022 i'm just excited bro not only for myself but for the city man i feel mm -hmm. like this is a big year for yeah, us nah, it mm. is it is and, um, fact, you can I mean, feel it outside everybody's gonna be back yeah, outside bro, after it's covid crazy. Yeah. it's gonna be we it's here. gonna be happening it's crazy we here so i'm Yo, ready bro, to just, i would love, gonna I would be love some freestyles from you honestly because you're so quotable bro i think that's right in your bag like you know yeah. what i mean like i think it's right in your bag like for real like yeah. Some freestyles would be crazy, like you know what I'm saying. Some Where it's like some old school beats or some yeah, shit. Nah, yeah, nah, 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 bro. You know what I'm saying. I'm That's me gonna keep that in mind. Like I'm gonna keep that in mind, bro. On dogs, yeah. on that dog. Give niggas that um th that that fabulous. You know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. Um, nah, that shit. Dog, uh, you know what, what was saying? the name like, of the yo. projects, my nigga? Dog. <laughs> like, uh, there's no competition. Yeah, there's no competition. The irony of that, bro. That's kind of where funeral came from, bro. Like being listening to those tapes. Like he said, he was funeral fab a lot throughout that tape. See, I feel like worldwide, a lot of people. Don't know, like in the east coast, like yeah. we got huge appreciations for fabulous, like French Montana, like people yeah, like that. Bro. Other areas, they're not as big to them, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. over here, we in the east coast, like yeah. they were like instrumental in our growth, you know? Like, so that's a fact, that's so that's dope hearing that. No competition, that's some of my favorite tapes right there, you know what I mean? So nah, that, nah, yo, bro, that. that if nah, <laughs> that was a cool ever, bro. That, that was a cool ever. That shit nah, fucked nah. up that summer it came yeah. out. Like that yeah. shit fucked the summer up, bro. Definitely. Um, Definitely. But nah, man, fucking uh, bro, man. Like so, any shout outs, bro? Like, and where can people? Where, where can the people follow you? Um, shout out to, shout out to all my dogs, man. Everybody, ooh, ooh, you know, ooh, ooh, if you ooh, ooh. you know who you are, man, just motivating me and keep pushing me to be who I am and shit like that. So shout out to the to my people that's close to me. The fam, shout out to my my producer, my bro, sounds by Fabe. That's my dog. Uh -huh. um, um, shout out Big Dog yeah, G. Shout out my bro G in the yeah, building, no man. Bullshit, no bullshit, my brody, <laughs> man, for real. That's my dog from the Sandbox too, for real. Yeah, yeah. He's Talk on that know. shit, respect. Like day one, but, uh, for real. Nah, he for said real. that he yeah. when you went downstairs, there was a video playing. He's like, yo, it's cold as shit out there. But for that video, I was dying. I was like, yo, <laughs> yeah. I was like, yo, you here and you was at yeah, that video, yeah, like, yo, 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 yeah. yo, yo rappers can't ask for friends like that, yo, for real, like. That's yeah, a blessing right like there. That. Yeah, yeah, like that's, that's a, a blessing because, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't, you know, yeah, show bro. up, you know, nah, and show out. That's how it go. Yeah. So when you got people like that, man, it's Fuck easy to, man. it's easy to, to, it's easy for me to play my part sometimes when I got niggas like G in my corner, you know what I mean? That's fine. So, that's that's fine. definitely yeah. fine. Shout out my dog. But yeah, man, that's really it. And then um, you can find me at Funeral and Bell on all streaming, on, um, excuse, excuse me, all social media platforms, um, Funeral underscore Aunt Bell, um, Funeral and Bell on YouTube. Subscribe, funeral and bell on all streaming platforms. We going up this year for sure, man. Go listen uh -huh. to that golden ticket, man. That's just uh -huh. run that, that golden hard. ticket up. I got Bro, new music uh -huh. on the way too. 
for sure. Fuck it. We're going to drop some new shit this month, man, for sure. Okay, yeah. talk your shit, right, man. Talk your shit, bro. Yeah. For, for real. Black History <laughs> Month, it don't yeah. make for sense. For sure. We're going to drop some shit this yeah. month, bro. For we sure. Need yes, that. sir. We're going to look out for that. that. Nah, yeah, bro. Yo, shit, man. I guess we could finish it off. Yo, man. man. It's the Museum TV. It's lit. Once again, it's we're here bringing you the stories. Funeral. All from all around Mass, the dopest ones you ever going to find. Uh huh. My man Noble right here. Yes, sir. My man Shock. Embroidery. Yep. He got, got the tenting. Yep, the tent, Come on, man. We got, we got coming. the testing lab. I'm we got saying? the testing Real lab rocking. We got a lot of shit rocking, bro. We got a lot of shit rocking, bro. I'm saying? There's going to be a few in-store appearances rocking, coming. Bro. Y'all yes, check sir. out for those, man. And nah, 100%. We got we just, we got a lot more like yeah, coming. Man. Y'all already know. We exhibit in the culture store. I'm loving it, no, boy. I ain't going to lie, man. I appreciate you being on board, bro, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like... You know, we're just trying to continue to just grow the platform and and make this shit like like lit for us. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man, and then you know, I feel like you know, from us taking care of us, it'll you know what I'm saying spread out. You know what I mean? Like, let's but you know, it's gonna take its time. You know what I'm saying? We got my man Funeral Aunt Bell here. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all my follow brother. my dog. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all man, y'all follow my man Shaka, following Museum TV. Make sure y'all leaving a like on this video. You know what I'm saying? Subscribing to this to this channel. You know, you can hit the notification bell too. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely not gonna hurt. <laughs> and everything is free. That's the craziest part about it. You know what I'm saying? I promise you it's free. You know what I'm saying? But look, my name is Noble. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have way more fire stories continuing. Well, we're gonna we're gonna continue to display fire stories. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah, moving man. forward. You know what I'm saying? So, keep up with us, man. You know what I'm saying? It's us. No oh, man, we out of here, man. Let's get oh, it. Man, buddy. <laughs> Shout out museum, man, for sure. Gang, I like to thank y'all for pulling up once again with the museum TV. And you need to like, share, and comment because we're going to keep exhibiting these stories and you can find more right